Hi there, welcome to the next uh, tutorial in our uh, F Sharp series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at values. Now, uh, for those of you that have used variables in uh, other programming languages, uh, this is very familiar and uh, uh, to the untrained eye, you may call these variables, uh, and some actual developers do, but in actual fact they are really values because in F sharp by default um, if we define a value it is not mutable by default therefore once we define it we cannot actually change it without setting uh, it ex explicitly as mutable uh, uh, so if you've used say C sharp or C++ um, it behaves very much like a constant function or variable, uh, whichever in this case. Uh, so once you define it, you cannot change it. Um, so let's have a look really at values. So if we use the uh, let keyword here, uh, this just tells F sharp that we're letting something or defining something let test value this is what we're calling the value in this case so we're defining a variable as this is a test value we would then like to say output it to the console like so. So where we had say our hello world program before we were writing out hello world like this uh, which is fine and hello world is a string because it's enclosed within quotation marks here but we are actually defining a value if we hover over this we can actually see val test value is of type string and that would satisfy the requirement of uh, this parameter uh, for right line here. So if we set it to test value, which is also a string, we should see this result appear in here. As you can see, this is a test value. And all we're doing, we're just storing it in this value here and outputting it here. Now like I uh, said before we cannot change the value of test value once we've declared this um, uh, C++ C sharp users may find this quite familiar once we've defined it we'll give it another value uh, let's change it to hello world for example as you can see, this expression should have type unit but has type bool. If assigning to a property use the syntax obj.property, then an arrow and a hyphen expr. Now, uh, new users to F sharp uh, may get quite frustrated if they try and teach themselves F sharp because they'll be wondering why they can't do the simplest of tasks, which is assign a variable. This is because in F sharp we don't use an equal sign we actually use a backwards arrow sign like so uh, but if we hover over this we'll get the uh, tooltip which displays this value is not mutable as I discussed at the start of the tutorial once we've defined it here we cannot change its value unless we define it as mutable which we'll, we will look at in another tutorial but for the basis of this tutorial, um, these are what values are. This is why we don't call them variables in F sharp. And this is a sample application of how to use values within the F sharp environment. So I'm Sean Greasley. Thank you for listening.